I never knew until recently that a lot of people look at a scene like this and all that they see is trees. That's all they see. They're on a road and there's trees. What I see, I see black oaks and I see white oaks. I see scattered ponderosa fir or pines, I'm sorry. Uh, some Douglas fir here and there, some Jeffrey pines, several different species of grass, dozens of different species of medicinal herbs. I see where they occur. I see some of them growing in shade, some of them growing in sunshine. So let's talk about how trees are not just trees. Specifically, I want to talk about using oak trees as medicine. Oak trees are so much more than just a forest or more than a tree that provides acorns that are fun to process into food. Oak trees are a powerful medicine. You can use the leaves. You can use the tender branches, the tips. You can use the corky bark. You can use roots if there's an embankment where the roots are exposed and you can dig them out. You can use any part of the oak tree for medicine. All parts of the oak tree are very high in tannins, and tannins are what we're after for medicine. Now, there's one part of the oak tree that is more powerful than all of the rest. It has a higher concentration of tannins. I'm going to come over to this little tree here, and I'm going to zoom in on that. This is what we call an oak gall. It grows on the branches of oak trees. That's caused by a wasp that literally stings the bark of the tree and lays its egg there. The tree then grows a growth around it, and that growth becomes a gall. I'm sorry, I got that up a little too close there. So here's the inside of one of the galls that I just picked up off the ground. It's pithy. And then the little larva from the wasp grows out through here and exits and that's it but those galls have more or a higher concentration of tannins than all the other parts of the oak tree what is important about tannins is that tannins are highly astringent so i want to give an example of how i used oak as a powerful medicine um, i'm going to turn the camera around now and talk into it um, several years ago, I was driving to work, and I was driving basically through this oak forest, only on the other side of the hill where the freeway goes through it. And I had received a spider bite on my on my right hip, and the spider bite had been there for a week, and it was getting bigger. I had a very large, uh, bright pink inflamed area. In the middle of that was a smaller red knot, just angry red knot. It had gotten larger and larger throughout the week, and it wasn't going away. So on my way to work, I swung off of the freeway, pulled over, and got out my pocket knife, and I just scraped some bark off of the tree. I got to work, I put that bark into a cup of scalding water, and I just let it sit there for 20 minutes. Then I used paper towels, I made a compress, I put it on my hip, I covered it with plastic so that my pants wouldn't have a wet spot on them and be all awkward while I was at work. And I did my thing. I went about my day just normally. When I left work that day, I took off that compress of of um, water that had the tannins from the oak bark because I had just uh, the compress was just I took the water and I had set the the crumbles of bark aside, and that's all it was was tannic water. And I looked at it, and that entire pink area was gone, and all that remained was that red knot. That was on a Friday. I went back to work on Monday, and I still had that red knot, but the pink area remained gone. So on Monday, I took the rest of those oak crumbles. They had actually been sitting in the remaining water all weekend long, so it just got more powerful. And I took that and I made another compress. By the end of that day, it was completely gone. So it was amazing what oak did when I used it medicinally like that. Um, astringent basically means that um, it will pull tissues together, it will tighten tissues. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's oak. That's what it is. Uh, the oak galls, I especially wanted to show you that. And don't just see this as a forest. This is hundreds of acres of food and medicine and living creatures 
It's amazing what is here. We should never take it for granted.